In this video, we'll take a quick look at how to convert images and artwork to black and white using Photoshop CC. So there's a few different reasons why you might want to convert something to black and white. The first is for printing, you may need to print in black and white. The second is it might be a stylistic choice, you might want your photograph or your artwork to be black and white so that it looks a little more interesting and creative. The third reason is to evaluate the value structure of your piece. So for instance, when I'm painting landscapes, I want things that are further away to be a little bit lighter in value so they look more distant. Things that are in the foreground will be a little bit darker in value. So we'll take a look at one way to convert this to black and white. The quickest and easiest way is to click down here at the bottom on this adjustment layer icon and choose black and white. This is going to convert it to black and white. And it does give us some sliders, but we won't mess with these yet. If you take a look at the piece, you can see that the foreground is indeed darker than the background. When you're viewing it in color, which you can do by clicking the eyeball, you don't necessarily see those changes in value. Having it in black and white for a second gives you that opportunity to evaluate that value structure and see whether or not anything needs to be lightened or darkened to help it fit into the piece better. To delete that black and white adjustment layer, go ahead and click the trash can a couple of times and that will delete it. Let's take a look at another example. Now, what if we want to make something black and white for printing and we need to adjust the different levels of things? Well, what we can do is we can add another adjustment layer for black and white, but this time we'll go ahead and click the auto button here in the properties, and that's going to attempt to balance out the value structure of each color. You can change these sliders to, for instance, lighten or darken the reds. So what you want to do is go through here and turn each of these up or down to determine which color you want to be the brightest and which color you want to be the darkest and then you want kind of a mid-tone. The goal here is for this to not look flat, so we have to balance this out to make it look good in black and white. Let's take a look at another example, this moth here. There's another way to convert this to black and white. What we can do is we can go to Image, Adjustments, and then Threshold. And this gives you kind of a photocopied look where there's no gray tones, it's just straight black and straight white. This might work well for converting things to silhouettes or for logos or just for a nice stylistic choice like I have here. If you change the slider left or right, you can change the range of lightness and darkness, or the contrast upon the piece. I'll go ahead and click OK, and now we get this kind of cool photocopied effect. This would look really interesting if I did screen printing, or a stencil, or even a tattoo. Now, Threshold is a destructive edit, so you want to make sure that you save a copy of your artwork by doing File Save As. That way you don't save over your original, which had color. So there you go, that's a few different ways to change your artwork to black and white. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.